Hi, welcome to the Power Wheelchair Comparison where we are going to check out the top power wheelchairs on the market today. Invacare was founded over 30 years ago by Mal Mixon and J.B. Ritchie. And the company is based in Elyria, Ohio, which is just outside of the Cleveland area. And we are a manufacturer of several different medical devices, durable medical equipment, including oxygen products, rollators, wheelchairs, power wheelchairs, manual wheelchairs, cushions, backs, a wide variety of medical devices. The power wheelchair that we are featuring is the TDX SP, which stands for Total Driving Experience. And we're featuring our current model that is in production today, as well as a model that we will be introducing in the middle of 2016. All products feature a wide variety of options, and some are extremely similar across all of the competitors, and some are unique, some are different. I would say what really sets Invacare apart are our patented protected technologies, such as SureStep, which allows the ability for suspension of climbing and coming down from obstacles. Also the stability lock system, which always maintains that six wheels remain on the ground for maximum stability at all times. It also features our G-Track tracking technology, which allows the chair to always maintain a true forward path. Uh, gearless brushless motors, another patent protected technology is also available on the product as well. So we have a customer who has been in an Invacare product for 21 years. And the reasons why she continued to stay with the product was due to the reliability and the performance of that product and not wanting to change and go into a different platform because she relied on the system and knew that the system could get her through her daily life and get her from place to place. And she relied on that product and felt very comfortable with it. So I'd like to take this opportunity today to clear up some misperceptions that may be out there about what it means to be in the consent decree. So late 2012, the FDA did come into a consent decree with Invacare. We did make negotiations to enter into a consent decree, which essentially the FDA was not citing any problems with our products or any safety concerns with the product, but really it came down to our processes. And it came down to making sure that we were following our documentation and our processes utmost. And so what that means is the FDA came to us and asked us to suspend our operations for a period of time to make sure that we get our quality regulations up to a performance level that is satisfactory for the FDA. And so we've been working through that for a couple of years. There are three audits to the consent decree. The first had to do with being able to provide parts to our sister divisions. The second was a remediation on the design freeze that we had on power wheelchairs and on power beds. So we passed the certification process on those first two milestones in 2013. We have been working on the most comprehensive, which is a full audit of our quality regulation systems. And ultimately what we need to be able to show to the FDA is that our process is now repeatable and sustainable. At the end of 2012, we were able to continue to produce product if there was an existing quotation in our system. Once all of those quotes were exhausted, we were then able and still are able today to build product under medical necessity. So the provider, the clinician, and the physician when meeting with a client, when meeting with the consumer, if they feel that the Invacare product best meets the needs of the consumer, they can order an Invacare product. And there's a verification of medical necessity that needs to be completed, basically stating what other competitive product did they look at to compare, and then also why is the Invacare product most suitable. That's one way that someone can still order an Invacare product. The other way that someone can still order an Invacare product is if they were in an Invacare product before, and if they want this as a replacement. So maybe, their house has already been modified and the Invacare product works best for them, or they feel most comfortable with the Invacare chair. Any of those reasons would qualify for a replacement and the replacement verification of medical necessity would be completed, which only requires a clinician's signature, basically stating that the consumer was in this chair and they want a replacement. 
So certainly Invicare is not out of business. We are still open. We are still building our power wheelchairs. We can still make custom power products for the consumer. So for those that have been in the Invicare product, love it, trust it, we can still meet your needs. To learn more information about our products, you can visit our website at www.invicare.com. Transportation provided by Braun Ability. Locations provided by Illuminate Studios. The Power Wheelchair Comparison Web Series. Brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures.